I created a handout for the next two learning objectives that summarizes the formulas presented in this chapter. A key relationship in CVP analysis is the level of activity at which total revenues equal total cost, the break-even point. At this volume of sales, the company will realize no income, but it will suffer no loss. The process of finding the break-even point is called break-even analysis. We can calculate break-even analysis from a mathematical equation using the contribution margin or a CVP graph. And we can express it in either sales units or sales dollars. The first line shows a common equation used for CVP analysis. When net income is set to zero, this equation can be used to calculate the break-even point. Break-even occurs when total sales equals variable cost plus fixed cost. In essence, net income is zero. Let's rewrite this equation with the contribution margin, sales minus variable cost on the left side, and fixed cost and net income on the right side. The break-even point in units is 1,000. To find the amount of sales dollars required to break even, we simply multiply the units sold at the break-even point 1,000 units, and multiply that by the selling price per unit, which is $500, to arrive at $500,000, which is the break-even in sales dollars. Many managers use the contribution margin to compute the break-even point. At the break-even point, contribution margin must equal total fixed cost. Break-even point can be calculated using either contribution margin per unit or the contribution margin ratio. To obtain the break-even point in units using the contribution margin technique, we simply divide fixed cost by the unit contribution margin. Rather than walk through all the steps of the equation approach, we can simply use this formula. Remember, Unit contribution margin is the net amount by which each sale exceeds the variable cost per unit. In this case, it's $200. Every sale generates this much money to pay off its fixed cost. If we divide the fixed cost by the unit contribution margin, we know how many units we need to sell to break even. Recall that the contribution margin ratio is the percentage of each dollar of sales that is available to cover fixed cost and generate net income. To determine the sales dollars needed to cover fixed cost, we simply divide fixed cost by the contribution margin ratio. An effective way to find the break-even point is to prepare a break-even graph. We can determine the break-even point from the intersection of the total cost line and the total sales line. Right, this is a great exercise that will have you calculate contribution margin in dollars per unit as well as a ratio, and I want you to use the contribution margin technique to calculate the break-even point in dollars as well as units. Right, and the next slide will provide the solutions.